Well, I'm unable to sit at my desk right now because someone stole my chair. Wasn't me. Also, I'm not wearing black. Look, I'm wearing your yes. ass. <laughs> I got I got new casters. I got new casters on my chair and it's really rolly. Also, I'm working on some stays for my Renfair costume. So uh, I'm not filming over my desk because it's a mess right now. I have a lot of boning and um, just fabric all over the place. So I am making the breastplate and the cape. I patterned everything myself. So unfortunately, I don't have a pattern to share today but I'll show you how I make the pattern and it's really easy. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into how I made uh, the things. The things. I don't know how to film videos. I don't know what I'm doing. So first I made a pattern and okay, so because I am like pretty flat chested, I don't need to add booby cups to anything. So like for this build, I definitely didn't. So I can make it exactly how it is on the, 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 the picture, on the picture. It's, it's, it's on the moving picture. I just wrap myself in plastic. Wrap me in plastic and make me shine. I wrap myself in plastic wrap and I taped it and then I drew the pattern on one side with Sharpie. I was just eyeballing the reference photo and nothing special about this. There's no uh, interesting technique or anything. I was just in front of my mirror drawing on myself as one does. I put the pattern onto 6mm foam. This is the first rendition of the breastplate because I actually remade it because it was too short at first. But I made everything the same way in the final version, but I didn't film it because I'm dumb. So uh, this still works. The final one is just longer. Again, it's, it's, it's the same method. <laughs> Next, I marked out where the side fold things are going to be because uh, I will be bending them later, basically. You'll see. You'll see it makes sense. Next, for those side pieces, I angled my blade and I created two cuts down the line that I made to form a V. Careful not to cut through the foam and then I removed the middle piece of foam. This is so freaking satisfying. Uh, this creates a nice little bend in the foam because when you bend it, it makes it it's really nice. Um, yeah. Then I plop the top layer of the breastplate onto 4mm foam, I trace it, cut it out, I marked where the bends on this layer are going to be because I'll be doing the same thing where I create two cuts that form a V and I remove the middle strip of foam and then I bend it. This is 4mm foam though, it's really difficult to do on 4mm foam, make sure you don't cut through the foam um, or else it's not going to turn out. So then I take my heat gun and I heat up the foam so I can bend it easier and it keeps its shape. I lay down some barge, heat it up again and press the edges together so the foam is permanently bent like that. This is where I was like, eh, this is really short, what am I, hussy? So off camera I made a new breastplate that's longer and that's what you finally see here. I took a pair of shorts that I thrifted and I cut them in half and that's what the sides of the uh, breastplate attachment things are. I used velcro at first but then I hated it because it wasn't secure, it sucked. So instead I sewed in these three straps here and I added buckles to them for attachment and I also added some straps at the top so it's like a nice little shirt. It goes over my arms and it buckles in the back. Oops. I taped up the fabric and I added a layer of Plasti Dip, some nice glossy clear coat, and then a few layers of the Spastix Mirror Chrome that I used for this whole build. Again, my painting video part of this whole build was just so bad. I have no clue what I'm filming here. I just, I didn't care apparently. I was just like, you know what, set down camera and then uh, let's just not worry about what I am capturing here and let's just paint. <laughs> That makes good content, right? For the little Tom Tom production, I took one of my husband's old shirts and I cut out this like round angled shape thing and I'll be sandwiching some squishy quilt filler stuff in between to make it thick. Next, I sew two fabric pieces on top of the thick interfacing <laughs> so that when I flip it, the interfacing is in the middle. Then I zigzag, zig, 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 z
I zigzag top stitch along the edges and also in the pattern that I can see in the reference photo. For the cape, I took this super old blanket, draped it on my dress form, and I cut it to length. Once it was the right length, I tore up the bottom with my scissors to make it look nice and warm. Warm? Not with an M. Worn. Like I went through some battles. <laughs> I did some cool battleage. And then here's the cape tucked into the breastplate. I honestly just attach it with two sewing pins and then I just like tuck it in and put the breastplate over it. <laughs> it looks close enough to the reference and it's secure at least. Look how cute this plant is. Yeah, I'll show more plant at the end. <laughs> Further weathering on the cape, I just airbrushed black paint onto the ends and around the holes as well. For the jacket, it's just a thrifted corduroy brown jacket. I took out the buttons and I added some velcro. I added a little black paint to this as well to give it a little dimension. I decided to go with a brown color palette with this build because the reference I was looking at was a pretty light brown and with the browns on the rifle, the boots, and the pistol, and the belt and everything, um, it was just really pleasing to my eyes at least. I've seen him built mostly with gray colors and in the show I think he's wearing gray but I don't know, I like the brown. This is just me justifying buying the wrong color and looking at the wrong reference but you know, that's okay, that's okay, it's just a costume. So yeah, um, that's really it. Thanks so much for hanging out and for watching. I hope it was entertaining or informative. Probably not the latter. <laughs> I hope you have a super awesome rest of the night and I will see you guys sometime next week with the rest of the build. The, the, rest, the rest of it. So yeah. Bye. Bean does this thing where she thinks she's hidden but she is not hidden i see you bimmy bimmy oh she's like no you don't see me oh what's that you want to look at my plants got my snake plant just vibing hanging out it's doing some cool stuff you know and then i've got my nerve plant this thing grows way too much I don't know what this thing is, but it looks interesting. It's, it's fun. It's a fun time. Money tree thing has um, these little leaves that are, they're unrolling, they're unfurling. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. That used to be like teeny tiny. That was a little itty bitty one. And then this one. It's very big. Oh my goodness, it's like a forest. It's a forest. Got my cacti and stuff and yeah. Well. Oh my goodness. And then I'm out of room on my plant stand, so I had to start putting them on my vanity. They're cute.